Hello again, Matinex. Okay, so we are almost done with our conic sections. Ito na yung ating last topic about conic sections. And it's all about um, solving worded problems or real life situations involving the conic sections. Okay, so uh, dito na natin i-apply yung mga pinag-aralan natin tungkol sa mga conic sections. Okay? So uh, we are going we are, we are going to solve eight problems today. Ayan. So unsaan natin dito? It says here, a radio tower services a 10 mile radius and you stop your car at 4 miles east and 9 miles north of the tower. The question is, will you be able to receive radio waves from the tower? Ayan. So, uh, meron daw isang tower na nagse-service ng 10-mile radius. So, within the 10-mile radius, makakakuha sila, makakasagap sila ng radio waves. Okay? So, 10 miles. Ibig sabihin, ang radius natin ay, ay 10 miles. Ayan. And then, sabi niya, you stop your car at 4, 4 miles east. So, dito ang east natin. Dito ang north, west, and south. Ayan. Okay, tama ba ako? Di ba baliktad yung east ko at saka west? San ba ang east? Okay. O, oh, tama yata ako. Ano ba yan? Nalilito na si ma'am. Okay, so, 4 miles daw. So, 4 miles is, so, nandito ka, 4 miles, salimbawa. And then, 9 miles. So, that is less than, ayan. So, kung makikita mo dito sa, sa picture natin, nandito ka pa rin sa loob ng 10 mile radius. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the answer is, Yes. Paano naman kapag hindi mo na siya i-drawing? Okay? Kasi parang hassle mag-drawing, lalo na kapag circle, di ba? Okay. So, ganito ang gagawin kapag yan ang problem. So, we have our um, given. So, the first thing that we are going to do is to analyze yung ating problem by um, identifying our given. Okay? So, ang given natin this time... Sabi niya, meron tayong 10 mile radius. Okay, so ang radius natin, sulat natin, ang radius natin ay 10 or equals 10 miles. Ayan. Okay, and then, you stop your car at a point. So, may point na tayo dyan. Kung saan ka nag-stop ng car mo. Okay? So, ang X, kapag sinabi nating point ay X and Y. ba Coordinate. So, ang X coordinate mo ay 4. Kasi ito yung 4 miles east and 9 miles north. Okay. So, 4 and 9. Okay. And we all know that we only have one um, uh, equation for circles. And that is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Ayan. So, uh, uh, ang center natin this time ay nasa, ayun, ang center natin ay nasa, yes, 0 and 0. Okay? So, kapag 0 ito at 0 din yun, ang ating equation ay magiging y is our x squared rather sorry medyo advanced na naman ang aking step nasa nang aking um erase natin yan okay so ayan so magiging x squared plus y squared equals r squared kapag ang ating center ay sa origin okay so isa substitute lang natin yung ating given guys dun sa um, equation natin so magiging x x natin ay 4 so that is 4 squared plus 9 squared equals ang ating radius ay 10 so that is 10 squared okay so, 16 plus 81 equals, is, are they equal? Sorry, are they equal? 100. Okay. And then, 16 plus 91, or plus 81 rather, is 97. And we all know that 97 is less than 
100. Okay, listen to this guys. Kapag ito ay, uh, sabihin natin this is uh, left. This is the left side. Okay, and the right side. So, kapag ang left side natin is less than our right side, meaning the point, the given point. Ito yung given point natin. The given point is inside the circle. Okay? The given point is inside the circle. That is if yung left side natin ay less than our right side. Okay? But if, halimbawa yung left side natin is equal to our right side, the value on the left side of our equation is equal to the value on the right side of our equation, then the point is, the point is exactly on the circle. Okay, halimbawa, we are going to locate here a point. Okay, so let's say, um, uh, ang, ang x natin ay, saan ko ba isusulat? Ang x natin ay, let's say, ano ba ang mag equal to 100 kapag 1? Uh, 16, 36. Okay, 6. And then, ang ating um, y ay 8. Ayan. Okay. So, kapag ganyan ang given natin, so 6 squared plus, so ang point natin dito ay 6 and 8. Ayan. Plus 64, ay 64 agad. Ayan, advance mag-isip si ma'am. Sorry. Stress na si ma'am. Okay, alam ko rin stress na kayo. Okay, 8 square equals, uh, still ang radius natin ay 100. Okay, so 10 squared. So 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64 equals 100. So 36 plus 64 is exactly equal to 100. Ibig, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, 6 and 8 is on the circle. Nasa circle siya. Okay? Nandito siya sa points ng circle natin. Now, how about if it, if, if L is greater than R or the right, left side rather of our equation is greater than our right side or the value on the right side the point or the given point the given point is outside oops outside the circle ayan okay halimbawa ang given natin ay let's say um at point uh, 11 and uh, 5 okay 11 and 5 ang given natin so we have um, 11 squared plus 5 squared equals 100 okay so this is for the given uh, for the given radius of 10 miles hindi hindi palaging 100 yan okay because that is the given so, 121 plus 25, is it equal to 100 or greater or less than? So, that is equal to 146, okay? Which is greater than 100. Ibig sabihin, the point 11 and 5 is outside, outside the circle. Okay, I hope that is very clear already. Okay, so that is for our first um, example. Next! We have here a pizza delivery area. Uy, pa-deliver tayo ng pizza, guys. Gutom na ang mami nyo. Okay, a pizza delivery area can be represented by a circle. Ayan. So, uh, halimbawa daw si Shakes ay may uh, uh, certain area lang daw kung magde-deliver siya. So, it is in a uh, circle. Okay, and extends to the points. 0 and 18, ibig sabihin that is 1 point. Halimbawa, nandito ang ating 0 and 18. Okay. 
and negative 6 and 8. O, halimbawa, nandito naman ang ating negative 6 and 8. Okay, and these points are on the diameter of this circle. Ibig sabihin, ito na yung diameter natin. So, let me draw a line. Ayan, wala, wala akong maabot na malapit na na kwan natin, ruler natin buti na lang meron ito okay, so yan ang ating diameter and let us all remember that uh, every diameter passes through the center of the circle, so handito ang ating center, okay ayan, so ito yung end points ng diameter natin, ito yung ating circle, the question is or the problem is, write an equation for the circle that models this delivery area okay, so it's just like saying, uh, given the diameter, what is the equation of the circle ayan, okay, so again we are going to identify our given so, we have our given, we have our end points of the diameter, end points of diameter, okay, which are 0 and 18 and negative 6 and 8, okay. And ano pa? Well, meron pa ba? Wala na, okay. And so, if we look at our circle or our given, yung midpoint, yun yung center ng ating circle. Okay, therefore, we are going to identify the midpoint for us to be able to get the center. Kasi ang kailangan lang naman natin, di ba? H, K, and R. H is for our... Um, our, uh, what do you call that? X coordinate, okay? Because we have X X minus H quantity squared plus Y minus K quantity squared equals R squared as our equation for circles, okay? So, midpoint, paano ulit ang mag midpoint? Okay, X sub 1 plus X sub 2 divided by 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Okay, so we have there 0 plus negative 6 divided by 2. Okay, and then we have 18 plus 8 divided by 2. And so, if you're going to simplify that, the midpoints or the coordinates of the midpoint uh, are negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and we have 18 plus 8 26 divided by 2 is 13 therefore the coordinates of our center are 3 or negative 3 and 13 ayan and of course from this point up to that point or from this point up to that point is our radius so um, distance formula naman ang kailangan natin ngayon. So, ang distance formula natin is the square root of Okay, so ito ang ating x sub 1, y sub 1 and then x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, so we have 0 minus negative 3 quantity squared plus Is that plus? Yes, it's plus. Plus, um y sub 2 natin is 18 minus 13 quantity squared okay so we have a square root of um 3 squared plus 5 squared okay so um we have now sorry about that 9 plus 9 plus 25 which is also equal to the square root of 34 so this is already our radius diba? because that is the distance from the center up to this point and that is our radius so we already have our radius we already have our center so we are we are ready to write our equation and that is x minus our h is negative 3 so that will become positive 3 quantity squared plus y minus our y is 13 or our k is 13 equals our r is square root of 34 yet we still have to square that because that is r square diba? 
So, finally, we have x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 13 quantity squared equals 34. As simple and as easy as that. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is to analyze your problem by identifying your given and then um, from there, you may be able to um, come up with your solution. Okay, so that is example number two. Now we have our problem number three and it is about parabola this time okay it says here the cables of the middle part of a suspension bridge are in the form of a parabola and the towers supporting the cable are 600 feet apart and 100 feet high so the question is what is the height of the cable at a point 150 feet from the center of the bridge so there is a need for us to draw since um we cannot solve this by just imagining it okay so here is our um suspension bridge okay or the cable rather the so this is our cable and it says here that it is 100 or the tower so we have here a tower okay we have here a tower and we have another tower there okay and so the distance from um this tower to that tower is 600 feet so meaning this distance is okay 600 feet Ayan. and then the height of the tower is 100 feet okay and so the problem is what is the height of the cable at a point 150 feet from the center of the bridge so we have to locate the center of the bridge so here is the center of the bridge okay so this is the center and 150 feet from here ang tinatanong niya ilan daw ang so that will be uh, let us draw here an imaginary line so it is here half nang kasi from here up to there that is already 300 isn't it Okay, 300 sila. Ayan. So, here is 150 feet. Okay. So, ang tanong, ano daw ang height ng, ng uh, cable na nagsusuporta dito sa point na ito? Ayan. So, ito ang tinatanong niya. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, uh, kapag halimbawa, meron tayong isang tower pa dito. Ilan ang height niyan? Yun ang tanong. Okay? So, let us I now identify the given. So, here is a point which is um, 300, di ba? Ang x natin ay 300. So, 300 and ang y natin. So, this is our x value, isn't it? And then, this is our y value which is 100 feet. Ayan. And here we have negative 300 and 100 feet. So, our center here are 0 and 0. Okay? And this is, of course, at 100 and... Uh, ay, 0 and 100, rather. Okay? So, we have here a point which is 150 and Y. Kasi hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung kanyang Y coordinate. Kasi yun ang ating hinahanap, yung kanyang height. Okay, so uh, let us proceed. Um, anong gagawin natin dyan? Of course, i-identify muna natin yung ating formula. Since it is an upward um, parabola, then we have x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k. Do you agree with me? That, that is the formula for our parabola. Yes, because it opens upward, diba? Okay, so what is the next thing to do? 